Now, uh, concerning the uh, poll taken by Newsweek magazine, I think you said that this was the leaders who said that, uh, who went with King and against Mr. Muhammad around 90%. I just told you a little while ago, these leaders that they call leaders, this included Lena Horne, this included Dick Gregory, and this included comedians, comics, trumpet players, baseball players. Show me in the white community where a comedian is a white leader. Show me in the white community where a singer is a white leader, or a dancer or a trumpet player is a white leader. These aren't leaders. These are puppets and clowns that uh, have been set up over the white community and or over the black community by the white community and have been made celebrities and usually say exactly what uh, they know that the white man wants to hear. And it is an honor, actually, that they endorsed Dr. Martin Luther King and uh, uh, were against the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. That's actually an honor. Now, when you say that they also, in the same Newsweek poll magazine, they, uh, I think the pollster said that he went into the Negro community and asked about the Muslims. And many Negroes whom he asked said, well, I never heard of the Muslims. Who are they? You know, this is the rank and file we're talking about. Oh, yeah. About. Now, yeah. when they got down to the rank and file, this was the answers that they got. Uh, this is equivalent to uh, the situation in Kenya during the Mau Mau uprising when many uh, frightened uh, whites in Kenya, Africa, would go among the Africans and ask them, what about the Mau Mau? And the African would say, I never heard of it. And the same white man who would ask the African this question and very naively believe what the African said, when he went to bed that night, he would lose his head. And usually the one who took his head was the same African who told him that afternoon he had never heard of the Mau Mau. Uh, except uh, in the Newsweek poll, they used Negro interviewers. You'll find that oftentimes Negroes are as much on guard uh, around Negro interviewers who usually represent the bourgeois uh, element of Negroes as they are on guard around whites. Uh, usually Negroes know that when this bourgeois Negro walks through the door, he is not doing something that he's initiated himself, but he's involved in something in which the white man is the absolute author of and has sent him to the Negro community for some information. And when they give that Negro some information, usually they give him the information that they want the white, want him to take back to the white man, because that's who he's going to take it back to. Four more minutes. Uh, our time is just about up, Minister Malcolm, and uh, perhaps you could summarize and conclude by giving us, in your opinion, or in the opinion of Mr. Elijah Muhammad, what would be the ideal solution to the racial problem in the United States today? Well, on Thursday, October the 3rd, the New York Tribune, in an editorial, pointed out in Boston, in an article called The Civil Rights Iceberg, they pointed out how Kennedy had realized that beneath the water, the civil rights uh, whole problem uh, was political suicide. Because in his own hometown, the head of the Board of Education, a woman named Mrs. Uh, Hicks, was running against the NAACP philosophy, and she swept aside all other opposition. The whole white community supported her in opposition to the NAACP's desire for integrated schools, integrated housing, and otherwise. So I say that to say this, that even the Jewish community, which is supposed to be pro-liberal, went against the NAACP. Whites are against integration in practice but they're for it in principle. So the only solution is separation. And the Honorable Elijah Muhammad says that this can be brought about simply by letting our people be exposed to the truth about ourselves, about the white man, about our history and our condition in this country. And once we are exposed to the complete truth as things about things as they actually exist in this country, the masses of black people will choose complete separation from this entire system, political system, economic system, social system, and whatever other aspect or description you, or, or uh, uh, adjective you want to attach to it. Let us go back home to our own people, live among our own kind, and solve our own problems ourselves. And if the white man doesn't want us to go back to our own people and live in our own country, then since we can't get along together in peace on this country with white people, let us separate part of this continent, migrate to that separate mm. territory, let the government give us everything we need to establish our own independent economic system and society, and thereby we'll be able to solve our own problems ourselves and prove that we are human beings and a part of the human family and can do for ourselves what other humans have done for themselves. And then we'll be able to stop blaming the white man for what he has done and stop begging the white man to solve our problems. We'll be able to solve our problems ourselves. 
Thank you very much. That's it.